And here at home, cities are pushing ahead with reopening plans while balancing fears that moving too fast could cause a second wave. So joining us now are New York City Council member representing the city's 5th district, Ben Kalos, and the mayor of Aurora, Colorado, Mike Kaufman. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having us. Uh, Councilman Kalos, I'd like to begin with you because New York City is beginning a major phase on Monday. Can you tell us about um, what the plans are for that? Sure. So first, the coronavirus has been incredibly hard. Millions of New Yorkers are living in tiny apartments. Just like me, I'm sharing a one bedroom with my wife and daughter. Now in New York State, Governor Cuomo is opening up the state in two week phases. We are in phase one, which, which saw manufacturing, construction and wholesale open. I can't wait for Monday. Phase two starts. Playgrounds open for my daughter. Outdoor service for restaurants offices open and barber shops and I can't wait to get a haircut. Yeah, I can imagine as a parent, I know how important those playgrounds can be. Uh, and I know that there are going to be folks sitting outside to help with the economy so that they, these restaurants can open. It will help them. Um, but that can only last so long. Eventually, we're going to hit fall. The weather's going to cool down and we're going to have um, flu season again and, a po and this resurgence of COVID that everyone's talking about in terms of health officials. Uh, are you concerned about that, that this could be short term? We're taking it slowly, step by step. The key thing here is that we have testing here in New York. You can get tested at an urgent care or from your local doctor. We're doing 68,000 tests a day. And as we move through the phases, we're going to phase two in New York City. The rest of the state is already in phase three. And so we're hoping that the numbers can guide us and we can go slowly. If we see a spike, we can always take a step back versus having to close. But if we do see that spike, everything's on the table. Okay, yes, you sound hopeful, and so many of us are hopeful that this all goes well. Um, and so I'd like to talk to you, Mayor Kaufman. The last time we spoke, it was Memorial Weekend, and the application process had just closed for Aurora's Rental Assistance Program, which sounds like a great program. Can you tell us how it's been going? No, it's been really going great. I think in the, in the first week of the program, uh, we had 1,300 applications, and so uh, it is so important for uh, families who uh, the breadwinner uh, lost their job due to the fact that their business was shuttered uh, because of the COVID crisis, and so uh, it is. Uh, we are in in opening up our economy, uh, but those families still need assistance, and so we are uh, providing it for them. You also have a food pantry program as well, right? I've seen right. um, waters, dog food, I mean, food, groceries, that sort of thing. Sure. Can you tell us a little, bit, a little bit about this? It's good news is so needed right now. Sure, the city of Aurora, uh, along with uh, our Interface Community Services uh, nonprofit, is involved in uh, providing a major weekly food distribution drive. Uh, where we're, I think we had 500 families served uh, the last week. About that's our average about every week, and so a very important program uh, on that's it, every Wednesday, and it's for families really that have never had to ask for help before. But because of the fact that uh, so many businesses were affected by COVID-19, uh, that this assistance is just vital. And Councilman Kalos, uh, can we talk about schools? Because again, we are going to be headed into the fall. That's a tough one, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, I, I'm a parent, and when I talk to parents, the big question is, uh, first, when is child care coming back? As part of phase two, we are gonna see summer day camp, but summer sleepaway is not happening in New York State. And so people are concerned what's gonna happen in September. Our school's chancellor Carranza still doesn't have a, a certain answer. The city is currently planning to go back to school. Uh, the uh, United Federation of Teachers Union is proposing doing a modified day so that they can still social distance, having half online, half in the classroom but people don't know we're planning to reopen, but again, it's all in that testing and keeping track of the numbers and that will guide us. And it, the state of Colorado is so much different than the state of New York. And in terms of sure. opening, we just actually heard that sleepaway camps will be happening here in Colorado. And Mayor Kaufman, I, I do want to ask you, because Colorado seems to be going well, things seem to be going well so far. Yeah. What do you think other cities of your size can learn from the work that you've been doing in your city and also the work that you've done with the governor here? Oh, I think that the, having the right balance uh, 
you know, uh, reacting uh, uh, in a measured way. And so I think we've, we've done really well incrementally uh, moving out of this situation and our governor uh, has experience as an entrepreneur in the private sector. And, and so we have had a, a great uh, line of communication with our local health departments from, from our city to our local health departments uh, to the office of the governor in terms of saying, look, we, there's another way we can do this where this, this business or this class of businesses can safely open up. And so we have been uh, opening up. About a fifth of our workforce that was unemployed is now uh, in the state of Colorado back at work. Well, I'd like to thank you both. We really like getting a peek into how the cities are doing on the ground level. So thank you. Uh, have a good Saturday.